Today's something for the ultralight crowd. I've got an ultralight sub four pound, rock solid, easy to use, versatile tripod system, as well as a brand new ultralight leveling adapter for your current set of legs. Well, hey everybody, it's Hudson, and thanks for joining me for this Approaching the Scene. I wanna put a huge shout out to the whole community for being so interactive and for driving the content on this channel. This particular episode is really, really driven by my interaction with people through these videos. Uh, a lot of people asking me, you know, I need a lighter setup than the one that you recommend. What can I get that's lighter? Uh, you know, and, and I've been carrying this seven and a half pound fluid head system with extra tall legs and a half ball leveling adapter. And it's not that big a deal for me in most situations, um, but not everyone is capable of carrying seven and a half pounds around in a big kind of bulkier tripod. So I went on a mission. I'm constantly sent links to things. People are asking me, do you think this is good? And invariably, you know, I find these tripods have too spindly a last set of legs or they're, they're just not, not secure enough. You can flex them if you push down with any weight or they have a tall center column that flies around in the wind or they don't have a good leveling system built in. Uh, you know, there's just always some kind of a fault. So I decided I'd see how light I could build a system that I would use and I'm telling you, I've been having a ton of fun using this and I'm sure that uh, on lightweight missions, if I'm backpacking in somewhere, this is gonna join me instead of this setup. Uh, and also whenever I need a second tripod, this thing weighs less than four pounds. It's also really easy to buy and put together. Uh, it's only two pieces as compared to my instructions on building the other fluid head system, which requires a little bit more tinkering. Um, so I'm gonna put those links in this video description. If you just click show more or the title of the video, depending on what platform you're watching this on, the links will be there. They're also always at my ATS links uh, page hudsonhenry.com slash ATS links. I'm constantly updating that and tweaking it and improving it. Um, and I'll actually run through at the end of this video and kind of show you how I've reconfigured my support and tripod section of that links page. And I'd love feedback on if it makes sense to you guys or not. So I'm gonna talk about this. And then the other ultra lightweight thing that I've got is this really cool new six ounce, or six ounce leveling adapter from Kirk Enterprise Solutions. I mean. This will let you mount one of these ultra light heads or one of these you know, not even so heavy fluid heads onto your existing set of legs with a leveling adapter that only adds six ounces or six point something ounces. And it's gonna add just a little bit of height if you've got a lower tripod, which is nice. It's got a big, beautiful bubble level integrated. So we'll talk about that too. And I just wanna thank everyone for being so awesome in this community, both for the people watching these videos and those who've been joining my free office hours on Tuesday mornings uh, throughout our whole pandemic thing. Uh, it's, it's just been awesome to get feedback from the community, questions, things you're curious about. And you know, again, that's driven the content to get me right here. So thanks for subscribing, sharing these videos, liking these videos. Again, if you're just tuning in and you haven't subscribed, there's always, a little kind of HH symbol down at the bottom left corner of the screen. You can just click that or bottom right corner on your, your, your screen and you can click that to subscribe. Um, so I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna talk about this set of legs and this head. This is a, a Leo Photo set of legs with an integrated leveling adapter. You can find out more about it in my links. Uh, it's gonna be linked in the video description, like I said, and again, at hudsonherry.com slash ATS links. But it's really beautifully machined and made. Gorgeous carbon weave on it. The leg locks are wonderful. They remind me of the, the Gitzo leg locks from the generation before these current ones, which I, I actually like better than these current ones. Um, beautifully machined uh, locks for popping out and then they automatically close as you go through the different levels. They're spring locked. It reminds me of really right stuff, Gitzo machining. Truly does, really beautiful. Um, I actually left my, my bicycle tape off this just to show it for this video. I'll put it on afterwards. And it's got an integrated 15 degree leveling adapter with a little side uh, actuator, a little knob, beautifully machined metal, brushed metal knob. And it lets you spin in 15 degrees in any direction. That leveling adapter has three little set screws that drive up into the base of your head to lock it in place. So you only need to spin it on gently, hand tight, and then you can lock it in place with three set screws. I love that little detail. It's got an accessory screw in poured on the side. I mean, it's kind of got everything you might need. Plus, because it's got the leveling adapter with its lock on the side, you can 
throw these legs out straight and put it flat down on a tabletop or straight down on the ground. No handle or uh, center column to get in your way. And it gets nicely to eye level. I, I'm about six feet tall, so this thing puts my camera right where I want it. The other thing that's really nice, this is an Acrotec panoramic head sitting on the top, which is a pan and tilt head. It's got a giant bubble level. So if I set the legs down and just loosen it up, look down through the center, I've got this big bubble level, boom, leveled with the leveling adapter. And it has essentially two controls. It has a pan control, and then it has a tilt lock. Now there's a base tension, a lot like a ball head would have. Depending on what camera you put up here to avoid it flopping, you can set the base tension. It has a nice Arca Swiss clamp built in on the top, and you can loosen this easy to hand spin knob underneath and rotate that clamp so that you can set up and, and put a camera on top of this just like you would a ball head, a ball head, you know, to save weight if you're traveling really light, you can drop it in. You're gonna need an L bracket to get vertical uh, conveniently. I mean, there's ways to do it, but you have to be careful to set that base tension if you're gonna do this. Otherwise you need to lock that pan because you have the potential for flop with this. It doesn't have the fluid in it like you would have with a traditional fluid head. So. Um, it also isn't going to be as great for doing cinematic movements because the fluid isn't going to make those movements really smooth. But what it does allow you to do is set up, get your composition the way that you want, and maybe you want to shift down just a little bit. Boom, you shift it down. Pan just a little to the left, pan to the left. You don't lose level, you don't lose your overall composition, you're just making micro adjustments. It's also going to be great with long lenses and for panoramas. Let me show you why that's the case. So I'll take the camera out of the clamp put it over here back on my Manfrotto fluid head and let's loosen that clamp again and spin it so that it's oriented sort of north-south. And I'm gonna just take my no nodal, my nodal, uh, no parallax slider, my nodal slider, put it in here and I wanna gently tighten the clamp, not too much. I'm gonna go ahead, loosen both the, the, the tilt and the, the base tilt tension and sort of slide that thing forward and back to where I get balanced. And now I'm balanced just like I would be on my fluid head and I can let go without as much worry about this thing flopping and do my micro adjustments. So again, you know, that just lets me get balanced over the head. Plus it also is all set up if I wanna adjust this for a panorama, boom, I just set it up for my pre-measured no nodal point reference on this nodal slide. And all of a sudden I'm gonna avoid parallax and advanced panoramas where I have close and distant objects. You know, I would be sweeping vertically if I was gonna do that. So super, super handy. I mean, it, it's, it's great for panoramas. It's great for getting balanced. It's the kind of thing that you get with the fluid head where it's really easy to make micro adjustments up, down, left, right without losing your composition or your level. Another benefit is much like the fluid head, you get gimbal-like ability to track wildlife in action with this thing. So once again, you know, get this thing set where it's relatively balanced forward and aft. It's not going to flop on you. I've got my 70 to 200 on the FTZ adapter on my Z7 here. And if I just loosen the, pan, the tilt, I can loosen up that. And really easily I can flip, you know, I'm, I'm set up on my lens foot and I can track wildlife in action, sports, you know, in a way that you just could never do on a ball head. Now, if you're gonna put a heavy lens on this, actually, if you're gonna work with it at all, I would just highly recommend that you throw one of these stone bags on here so that you can weight it down. The problem is that this thing only weighs four pounds. It's rock solid and stable. You know, if I, if I have a heavy lens on here and I make an adjustment and stop it, make a micro adjustment and stop it. It doesn't move an iota. I've used my 500 on this head. This head's rated to hold 25 pounds and it only weighs one pound. So these legs weigh less than three pounds. The head weighs just under a pound. System's rated for over 25 pounds. So it's good for locking whatever you want down. But just to keep it stable in the wind, I uh, would definitely put a stone bag, or if you're gonna be doing gimbal type action like that, uh, you definitely are gonna want a stone bag. All right, so what's the only bad news about this whole system? Well, while I was in my office hours the last couple of weeks, I've teased this out a little bit. I put a kind of an advanced link for those people that joined 
uh, my free Tuesday office hours, which you can sign up for at hudsonharry.com slash office hours. It's just a free meeting of photographies on Tuesday mornings. We're taking a couple of weeks off here, but we're also running a photo contest. You know, I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end. So the bad news is that there were, there's only five of these left right now in Amazon of these sets of legs. And you know, those, when they go, they'll obviously restock. But right now there's just five sets of legs available. And Acrotech is a little behind because of the pandemic with their uh, anodizing. So it's gonna be until the end of this month, end of June, they're saying, until they're able to ship orders. They'll ship orders that are bought through their own store first. Uh, and the folks from Acrotech are awesome and they've set up an affiliate account so that it, it benefits me if you order direct from them, it benefits them. It's all made in the USA uh, and they're really nice people so you can feel good about ordering from them direct and the links are in the video description. All right, so let's set that aside for a minute. I'm gonna pull this guy off here, sling it back on my QD strap here. And I wanna talk for a second about if you want to set up a head like this or like the fluid head on your traditional set of legs that have either, let's say a center column or just a flat plate and you don't have a leveling adapter, but you don't want to add a lot of weight. Well, that's where this killer new little Kirk Enterprise Solutions le mini leveling adapter comes in. This thing weighs six ounces, screws onto your head, onto your tripod. And my guess is you want a little more height out of this thing anyway. This is going to add a nice stable little amount of height. It's got 15 degrees. Of, uh, of leveling motion. I got it a little bit snug right now, there we go. And it's got two set screws. You drive two set screws down into the top plate of your tripod so it won't have that problem with shifting around. And then you get 15 degrees of tilt. And so you can take, uh, I've got the set screws set in this guy, but you can loosen these set screws up and I'll take this little guy off of here. and set it up on here. And now all of a sudden, your center column or flat plated tripod, you've got a nice big bubble level. Now obviously this head has its own, but I can look off to the side without leaning in to look. Boom, I'm nice and level. And all of a sudden, I've got my pan and tilt head set up on an older set of legs. It's gonna work just as well with the fluid head. Um, just a really nice ultra, ultra light uh, leveling adapter. I love the fact they came out with this little mini guy. All right, so again, links to both these products. They've got this up and available in their store. I love both these companies. The people at them are awesome. Um, so if you can order direct from them, it's good for their companies. Um, again, office hours, this thing I've been running every Tuesday morning with my good friend Rick LePage and my business partner Woody Adams. Uh, we take people's questions, we get together in a big Zoom meeting, it's interactive, it lets us, you know, in this age where we're, we're not doing so many workshops, all get together and talk photography. Uh, and I've learned so much through the meetings as well as being able to hopefully impart some information to those who are attending. We do it live on YouTube at the same time. We're going to be taking a couple of weeks off. Uh, I think it's mid-July is the next one, but we're having people submit photos for a contest. Uh, it's got to be a photo taken within the last nine months uh, and only one photo submitted, 2,000 pixels. When you go to hudsonharry.com slash office hours to sign up for that next office hour meeting, you can choose whether you want to watch it live on YouTube, which has an unlimited number of people, or you want to be part of the Zoom meeting where it's a little more interactive with the chat and being able to unmute people, um, and that's limited to 100 people. Uh, but at that moment where you sign up, you'll have the ability to submit an image for the photo contest, uh, we're going to make some nice big prints for the winners and give a Hudson Henry photography hat away. Uh, Rick and I are both people who love to print, so we're going to do like 17 uh, by 20. I think 17 by 20 is what we came up with. Prints, we're in that general genre uh, of size depending on your, your aspect ratio. Um, you know, handmade print by Rick and I. Uh, of your image, your winning image, and send it off to you. So, you know, hope you'll, hope you'll consider throwing a photograph in, signing up, joining us for that next office hours. They've been a ton of fun. And I'm still intending to run my Portland, Oregon workshop, my hometown workshop at the end of next month that starts the last day of the month, July 31st. I've got hotels to sign up with around town. We're gonna do 
some social distancing in the classroom. I have a huge space where people can be sitting apart from each other. If you ride in the van, we'll, have, we'll be doing face masks. You can drive your own car. We're gonna be super careful. Uh, the plan is to still go ahead. There's one spot open. I have one person cancel who has some, some underlying conditions and just doesn't feel safe traveling from the other side of the country. So if anybody wants to take part, uh, we've got one open slot. And if anything happens that, that causes this thing to shut down, uh, I'm holding all the fees in trust and I'll be giving refunds out. I don't see that happening. I'm planning on running it and I cannot wait to be out photographing with people and, and, and reviewing images and having fun and talking photography in a big group again. Um, so planning on running this one in Portland and then the three big national park workshops I have scheduled for the fall and I'll be announcing those and launching them really shortly for Yellowstone and the Tetons and, and Moab. So stay tuned on that. Thanks so much everybody. Uh, everybody stay safe. Uh, keep photographing, touch in with questions that you have. You can always get me in the comments section here on YouTube, email, um, however you want to reach out to me. I'm easy to find and those comments and questions are what drives this series. So thanks for being part of the community.